Uh, hello everyone, welcome to our presentation uh, of our group today. So uh, today our group uh, is going to present about warehouse and our case study is about Đồng Nai Port. Here's our group members and uh, our presentation would have five parts. Uh, the first one is definition uh, about Đồng Nai Port, the layout of Đồng Nai Port. Uh, the cost and the capacity. So uh, let's come to the definitions first. Uh, a warehouse is any is any locations where stock of material are held on their journey through supply chains, as well as storage. A warehouse can be used for a number of other activities. Traditionally, warehouse were seen as a place of, for the long term storage of goods, but now organizations try to move materials quickly through the supply chains so their, in, their, their role has changed. Uh, warehouse are now viewed more as a staging point through which materials move as quickly as possible. As their role in long-term storage has decreased, they have become convenient locations to do uh, a range of other jobs. They are, for example, the best place to sorting material packing and consolidating deliveries. So a warehouse layout is a plan design of a warehouse to streamline overall operations. A good warehouse layout should improve the flow of the facility, but there are more things a warehouse layout can do to enhance the way a company operates. For example, uh, optimize warehouse space, increase productivity, utilize labor and budgets effectively, keep the space clean and improve overall warehouse management. So let's come to the general information of the Domini part. All right, uh, <clears throat> let's move to my part with about the Domini port. Uh, as you can see the, in this picture, this is the, the, located, the location of the Domini port, which next to this Domini river, uh, Dom Nai Port is one of the major seaports in Vietnam, located in Dom Nai province, about 30 kilometers southeast of Ho Chi Minh City. Dom Nai is a province in the southeast region of Vietnam, and it is the considered a gateway to Ho Chi Minh City and the southern critical economic re religion. Uh, Beside that is main, the main gate up to connect Vietnam's seaport with countries in the religion and the world. Domnai province had much potential to become a logistics center for custom clearance of import and export goods and logistics service. Uh, moreover, the Domnai has an advanced traffic system with many backbone national roads crossing it, such as National Road 1A, National Road 20, and National Road 51, and last but not least, the, the North South Railway Line. It is also located adjacent to the Saigon port, uh, Goyo port, Kaimap Thibai port, and Tung Tung Yuk International Airport. Moreover, the construction of Long Thanh International Airport and an Ang Phu port will also support the transportation and logistic activities from Dom Nai to the Southern Economic Central Hub and Tengling Highland. Uh, my friend will talk a more, more about the Dom Nai port in the next slide. So now we move to the table of the general warehouse database of Dom Nai Port. As can be seen the tables, you can see that Dom Nai Port possesses two main warehouses. The first one we have Long Binton Port, and the second one we have the Goyo P Port. Uh, Dom Nai Port has a lack of scale with an area of more than 600 hectares, a port length up to uh, 3,800 meters and capable of the receiving like ship up to 100,000 dollar tons and container ship up to the 18,000 TU. Additionally, the port is also equipped with modern equipment and technologies such as uh, electronic intelligent cargo storage system and automatic cargo packing and unloading. Uh, Domnai Port is capable of uh, transporting diverse goods from agriculture, roads, 
and foodstuff industrial raw materials export goods to mobile goods such as petrol and gas. So now we move to the layout of three up to warehouse of the night parts. The first one we have uh, the layout of the long button parts. And the second one we have the Goyo B board. The night part is capable of transporting diverse goods from agriculture, roaders, foodstuff, and industrial raw materials for export goods to mobile goods such as petrol and gas. With location and development potential, the night part play a significant role in promoting import and export activities contribute to the economic and development of Vietnam. So now we move to the benefits of uh, the night port. The location of the night port is considered very convenient and has many significant benefits. The first one we have a convenient traffic location. The night port is located in the central position of the southern region of Vietnam. Concerning with important sea routes of Southern Asia and the world, along with location near the airport, uh, is, uh, specifically international, transient, and other major seaports of Vietnam. And the second one, we have the lake area. The night port has a lake area about 600 hectares, allowing to receive and transport many different types of goods. And next, we have modern infrastructure. The night port is equipped with modern equipment and technology as like drainage intelligent cargo storage system, automatic cargo packing and unlighting that helping to optimize operations price movement. And following that, we have economic development potential. The geographical location and infrastructure of the night port, uh, both them um, allow the development industries especially those related to import and export and making a making positive contribution to the development uh, regional and national economic and the last adventure uh, feature that's the job creation the night part also raised many job opportunities for local people contributing to reducing unemployment rate and improving people's living standards and in short the location of the night port has many conditions and benefits to develop uh, import and export activities as well as uh, make a positive uh, contribution to the economic development of Vietnam. And because the night port is a lake seaport in Vietnam owned by Saigon Airport Corporation, uh, we also know that it is SAGS. This port is considered a public port that is uh, it, that is the public uh, infrastructure on it and operated and managed by the state, open to all operators and users who meet the requirement demand for goods and transportation. However, because SAGS is a partner company of the state and the public investment enterprise, the management and operation of the NIPOT may involve state intervention and additionally, because the Nipot is a lack and important infrastructure for the national economy, it can also be regulated and strictly monitored by state authorities. And in conclusion, the Nipot is considered a public spot because it's owned and audited by the state, and there may be state intervention and supervision to ensure the safe and efficient operation of the port. And now my partner will continue with the cost. Now I will introduce you a labor cost. We have six employees, uh, which is deep door accounting, driver, manager, security, and supervisors. A total employees is 14, and a total weight is 215 million Vietnam dong. Uh, the insurance is 5,000, 500,000 Vietnam dong per em one employees. 
So about operating costs, we have salaries and benefits. The salary is 300 uh, million Vietnam dong with bonus and occur expenses and benefits is 20 million Vietnam dong with uh, the insurance. Rent and, rent and properties per purchase cost is about 600 hectares, laying up to 3,800 meters and capable of receiving ship, receiving ship up to uh, 100,000 dead weight tonnage. Container ship uh, up to 18,000 20 foot equi equivalent units, one container 20 feet. Advertising and marketing fees is 200,000 Vietnam dollars per year. Poster and article on the Night Park website. Licensing fees is 265,000 Vietnam dollars. HRT and robbery taxes is about 15 and 20 percent. About equipment cost, uh, we have a dog hand hand pallet truck, lift truck, forklift, computer terminal. Uh, its total cost is 930.7 million Vietnam dong. Uh, with all the cost is about utility cost. It has natural gas, electricity, water, trash remove, and vehicle maintains facilities and equipment rep rep repair. Its total cost about 696 uh, million million Vietnam dong per year. Now, my friends, we'll continue the presentation. And the final, let's discuss the capacity of the night port, focusing on three main aspects, structure, service, and equipment and facility. The main park structure encompasses a total area of 1,240,000 square meters. It is divided into two categories, warehouse and storage. The warehouse area is also live for both inland and bond cargoes. Specifically, the Longbeton Park operates three warehouses with a total area of 13,250 square meters, consisting of 3,250 square meters for the bond warehouse and 10,000 square meter for the inland warehouse. Additionally, the Goyao port operates two warehouse for inland warehouse purpose, covering a total area of 8,000 square meter. Moving on to the storage function, it is employed for storing cargo and container. The remaining storage area is 661,000 square meter primarily designed for general cargo in terms of container storage. The dedicated area measures 88,000 square meters. The laden container storage occupies 26,000 square meters with a capacity of 2,000 TEUs, while the empty container storage covers 60,000 square meters with a capacity of 6,000 TEUs. Moreover, the Lombardong port boasts a storage area of 210,000 square meters, including 82,000 square meters specifically allocated for container handling service. This area can accommodate a maximum storage capacity of 7,172 TEUs. It comprises four main functions. Laden container area, container area for Mars, area for stuffing and stuffing laden container and an area for empty container. The primary focus of the Lombardong port is container operation and the unloading, unloading of general cargo. On the other hand, the Royal port encompasses a storage area of 530,000 square meters with 295,000 square meters dedicated to serving general cargo. Additionally, there is an open storage area spanning 73,000 square meters. Domnai Park offers customers a wide range of service options, encompassing operation and management of port facility, ship agency and maritime service, IDC service, cargo handling, 
transportation, stuffing, unstuffing, warehousing, tailing service, sanitation and container repair service, logistic service, inland tailing, custom clearance, as well as on land, by waterway, and motor model transport service. Đồng Nai Port is equipped with a range of machinery and facility comprising five short cranes, a rail mount ventry crane, ten hybrid mobile cranes, four laden container rich stacker, five empty container rich stacker, ten stack, ten tractor with chases and two lift tractor. That is the end of our presentation. Thank you for your attention.